watching right now train trouble in Fort Lauderdale County and city leaders at odds on how to best cross the new river. A big debate was held today and local tents Andrew Perez fills us in. This was somewhat of a tense meeting. All parties passionate. One thing that they do agree on, though, is that commuter rail has to expand. <laughs> trouble on the tracks in downtown Fort Lauderdale. The question is how to get trains across the new river without breaking the bank. I like the tunnel better. But it doesn't matter how much I like the tunnel if I can't afford to pay for it. Broward County leaders and Fort Lauderdale officials getting together to hash it out. The city wants that tunnel. County officials believe a bridge option is realistic. If they can get the funding, if they're not asking the county to go on the hook for, you know, 25 percent of three or four billion dollars, God bless them. There's no need to continue to add higher vertical infrastructure that hurts the adjacent development. Downtown development and business leaders tell us the height and length of a bridge that's meant for big trains would divide a growing downtown area. The cost and estimates have varied so far, so the county and the city got together conducting a joint study looking at several bridge options and also that tunnel. There were three bridge opportunities looked at in one tunnel. We think it's important to evaluate a shorter, more shallow tunnel. To make matters more complicated here, Florida East Coast Railway has to approve the plans too. County officials say railway reps don't appear to like any of the proposals so far. Maritime industry folks also heavily involved here. For those who are concerned about funding, Brightline just received a $3 billion grant from the federal government. So projects of that magnitude are being funded. We have to talk not just about capital costs, but social costs and environmental impact. I should mention railway officials can see a path forward using a bridge as well. There's also a small window to get federal dollars for whatever project, but there was no vote today. Everybody walking away with a lot to think about now. We'll let you know what happens. That's the latest here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.